morning everybody. We are here for day two of the ditch cleaning adventure. So now that we are in daylight again, let's go take a look at what we accomplished last night. Cause to be honest, it was so freaking dark. I couldn't hardly see what I was doing. So first thing, there's our ditch. You can see we have taken a lot of muck out. So it's looking much better. There's our muck piles. So yeah, that ditch was full. Um, I bet it's been at least 15 to 20 years before someone's been back here cleaning. So that was, uh, that's the main ditch. Sorry, I'm not gonna look at the camera right now because it is wet and slick and I'm gonna try not to bust my ass on camera. Although I'm sure that would make my views go up, right? So the other thing I was working on, if you recall, was this ditch that really didn't exist anymore. And by the time I wrapped that up last night, it was too dark for you guys to see anything. So we're gonna continue this one up probably another 100 yards or so, but at least there I've got fall. This one, as ugly as that is, is roughly following the existing ditch contour. Um, and this was the battle because there's really not any fall. So I actually went all the way to that end and just started at the blend point and slowly got deeper and deeper as I came here. First thing I'm gonna do this morning, we're gonna get in here and we're gonna push all of this shit back. And that way Taylor can bring the mini in here later and clean this ditch because you can see all that stuff. Uh, my hose is just too big to really get in there without tangling the hoses up and everything. So I'm gonna try to push all that stuff back and then he can get in there with the little machine. And then we will go back to cleaning the main ditch all the way around. So yeah, that's the plan. So that being said, as always, you know the line, catch you in the machine. All right, everybody. Well, I take that back. We're gonna go this way for a second. Get this log out of here for him, cause he's gonna be in a mini. Yeah, this is gonna be a good time cleaning this line. You, uh, I mentioned it yesterday, you almost need a fecon head. It's, there's so much crap in here, trees, branches, scrub brush. Try our best not to bust the line. See, just to have a little fecon head on the end of this machine, wouldn't that be handy? Pop all this stuff real quick. Yep. Would be nice, right? One can dream. Man, 
have to go throw that 24 inch bucket on to be able to use this thumb at all. Yeah, that's a bummer. Bummer, bummer. All right, we're gonna go throw the 24 inch on. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, take two. You know what? I'm gonna angle you guys up just a hair so you guys can actually see what's going on. There, that's so much better, isn't it? I thought I had a little more play. I'm sorry, guys, I tried, I tried. All right, onward. Yeah, the problem is this thumb does not line up with this bucket at all. Yeah, this thumb is almost worthless. Yep, all right. No more thumb. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be a good day if I don't rip a hydraulic line off of this machine. Cause he's got those quick coupler lines there. And those are the ones that uh, typically find a branch and get yanked off by something you weren't paying attention to or something you don't see. This is a mess. Oh, I'd really like to get that branch right there. But without a thumb that actually lines up with my bucket, I don't see how I'm going to. Come on now. Nope. Ah, that's irritating. It's irritating. Get it? Nope, it's not gonna get it. It ain't gonna happen, guys. I tried, damn it.
Okay, onward. Here's something thick enough I can actually grab. You son of a... You son of a... I'll be back everyone all right sorry about that guys that was uh my oldest son who always wakes up at like 5 30 or 6 o'clock in the morning just called me it is 8 30. he slept until 8 30 and go figure it's the week that i'm out of town yeah that just happened oh my bad hit the coupler so yeah he was calling to say good morning so i had to let you guys go Boy, I'm sure this looks really good on camera, doesn't it? Me fumbling around with my coat like an idiot. All right, all right. We're back. We're back. All right, so far, we have all of our hydraulic lines intact. Despite the gnarliness of this situation. I gotta fix my phone. Ugh. Oh, I just missed it with the tooth. Come on now. And I think from here, he can pretty well get it. I believe, I believe. Come on, Brian. Yeah, I think most of this stuff is gonna be small enough he can get it with the mini. Shove a couple more little things out of here. Come on, lay over and stay. There we go.
Can I go? I ain't even gonna mess with that. Nope, ain't doing it. All right, I'm shutting the camera off. We're gonna go back to ditching. Catch you in a minute. Catch you. Can't even talk this morning. Catch you in a minute, guys. All right, all we're doing here is just skimming out a little bit to make a ditch. We've got fall going that way already, so literally I'm just trying to get some of the crap out of there re-establish a ditch line of some sort. I'm not going to be super exact or precise on this. At the end of the day, looks aren't as important because we are about a mile away from any sort of real road. And we are in the woods between farmer's fields. So basically straight out there is a farmer's field. On the other side of those trees is a field. And then as you saw from the time lapse yesterday, through those woods and on the other side of that thicket is a farmer's field. The closest road is about three quarters of a mile to a mile that way. So all that to say, I don't give two what this ditch looks like because uh, no one's ever going to see it except for the farmer and he's only worried about drainage. So it ain't going to be pretty but it's going to be functional. So the reason I have all these spoils piled up, last night we worked until about 8.30. So the sun was down and I couldn't see crap. And you gotta be able to see to shape this ditch line. So instead, I just went to digging on something that I already was gonna dig on the blind. So I went back to digging that ditch, which I did find a big old fat snapping turtle last night, but it was way too dark for me to get any sort of pictures or video of it, so. Maybe we'll find another one today. We'll see. Happy goodness. I knew I was getting those spoils a little far out there last night, but I really didn't care given the time and the amount of light available. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh oh, she's pitching back the wrong way, Captain. Come on now, you can do it. Mm. 
Okay. That ought to drain. Alright guys, I'm going to keep it this, and I will flip the camera on later when we go back to doing the mainline ditch, or when we move something. We'll do something interesting later. We'll catch you guys in a little bit. Told you I was finding some turtles. I just woke this guy up, and he's not very happy about it. You can tell these guys are still, uh, still hibernating or whatever these guys do during the winter. But yeah, there's a... There's a snapping turtle. And that right there is why you don't ever go playing around in farmer's ditches is because you might lose some toes if you do so. So I'm gonna put this guy back in the water and we're gonna get back to digging. <laughs> 